Gaming, a multi-billion dollar industry, and the passion that drives advertising major and business owner John Imer to try to make a difference. His new product is called Gamer Gel. Essentially, it's a new drink made for gamers, kind of made to combat the like unhealthy stigmas around gaming. It's like when you think of gamers and what they drink, you think of like energy drinks, soda, just all this terrible stuff for their body. And so Gamer Gel is a new drink in the market that's just aimed at gamers to give them energy but while being healthy instead. The idea for Gamer Gel was sparked when John was competing professionally in gaming in high school. This idea became a reality last year when he got first place in the first leg of the National Elevator Pitch Competition here at UT. With a panel of investors interested, John's company took off. The last year has been filled with growth, but John has remembered that school is most important. And so it's just really focusing on time management and saying I have to study for this allotted hour that I have set aside for my exam, and then I have to like make these three phone calls to the different people, you know, the manufacturers or the web developers, and make sure that's down. Trying to juggle both school and a business is hard as is, but it's John's future that keeps him going. Growing up, I wasn't always the most financially stable, and I want to be in a position where I'm able to, without a doubt, take care of my future wife and future kids, and just in that regard. But between the schoolwork, the gaming, and now, a business, John lives by a standard every day. Just being able to wake up every morning and say, like, this is going to be a good day. I'm going to go out there and make something good happen. And being able to keep that mentality is a really big part of being an entrepreneur. That's what keeps John getting up, putting on his suit one piece at a time, and striving toward his goal. Uh, if you fail at something, all that is showing you is that there's a way to do it wrong, and you can now take that and find a better way to do it. So down the road, if I fail, I wouldn't consider this a waste of time. I just consider it opening up new opportunities. Lucas Cooper, UT Today.